Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Lisa Avaxi and as you can see by the title, today we are doing my morning and my nighttime skincare routine. I hope we're really, really excited. I've been really looking forward to this video just because I wanted like a really set in stone like product list but also step by step list of my morning and my nighttime skincare routine because i know i have a morning and a night routine i know i have both these videos already but i just wanted you guys to have like a step by step skincare guide to follow if you're like me and you have really really dry skin and you're not acne prone but you do get problem areas because of fucking hormonal acne like myself it's so hot in here like i almost can't stand it so if you have a very skim skimmler if you have a very similar skin cut Alyssa, if you have a very similar skin type to me, follow along. I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. First, we're going to be doing, obviously, my morning routine, if you can't tell, by the daylight outside. That's what we're going to be focusing on. I did say in my morning routine that I don't wash my face in the mornings because I don't. Because of the dry skin, it honestly helps to keep some of the natural oil balance in my face and just go ahead and put moisturizer on top of it. It works for me. Try it out. You never know. It might work for you. I do wash my face at night but we'll get to that a little bit later in the video so first things first i wash my hands and then i wet my face i did catch covid and i'm like currently recovering from it and the one thing i can say is i haven't noticed like a huge huge difference in like my way of living or like what i have to do i'm still currently on quarantine i have four more days left for me it's really just like i get tired so so easily and I run out of breath a lot quicker than normally I would because I talk a lot so I'm very used to like running out of breath when I talk because of how much I talk <sighs> like right there but now it's like every few sentences I'm running out of breath which I'm just not used to so that kind of sucks and then I just get the worst fucking headaches like if I am moving around too much or I am doing way too much at once I will get the worst headache so I'm just like slowly trying to get back into like my normal routine and my normal stuff so that I can recover faster and I'm not just like sitting in bed day to night and not moving because that's just gonna I don't know I feel like that just keeps you in like a sick body and mindset so what was I doing oh yeah so now I'm gonna wet my face because I've been sick I haven't done this in a couple days but I do it once a week where I'll take like a brush like this and after I wet my face I'll wet the brush and I'll just go around my face. It just like for one it stimulates your skin which is good because it just kind of wakes the skin up and two it's just a really like gentle and light exfoliator for your skin and I haven't done it in a while because I've been sick so I definitely need to do it. Get the crevices where you normally can't get with your hands and try and like don't scrub the fuck out of your face the bristles shouldn't be super soft they should be a little bit hard so that it is like an exfoliator little circles around your skin and then just follow the shape your skin goes up and i do this about once a week so after that i'm going to dry my hands and then dry my face i don't rub my face dry also, I use a separate towel for my face than I do like my hands and my body. You should definitely have a separate towel that you use for your face and your face only. I go and I pat my skin dry because rubbing, it's just, it's stretching your skin and you don't want to do that. You never want to pull at your skin too much. Same thing when you're going with the brush. You're not pulling the skin, you're just following your skin and its natural grooves and just stimulating areas where your face normally will like fall flat and stuff like that. So first things first, I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Water Gel Extra Dry. I get mine from Target, it'll be linked down below. Just so that I don't have to keep saying it, all the products that I'm going to be used today, using today will be in the link in the description down below. So if you want to try any of them out or if you don't know where to get them from, just go ahead down to the link and try it for yourself. If you guys want to see any more content from me, all of my recent videos will be in the description down below as well as my TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. So don't be afraid to go check any of those out. Next, after that, we are going to take some of that moisturizer from Neutrogena and this is going to go all over our face face just because you're sick doesn't mean you can't follow skincare it really sucked because the day i found out i was sick was the first day i actually started having like symptoms 
but in that video i was like you can tell i was perfectly fine up until like thursday morning thursday morning is when it started to hit like something doesn't feel right like i don't feel like good i just don't feel good and i thought okay it's probably allergies because sometimes i'll wake up and my allergies do have me feeling like i'm sick i'll even have like a very light fever sometimes in the morning because of my allergies and so that's all I thought was going on. I was like, great, like it's gonna be one of those days. And turns out it was not, it was not the allergies. With the Neutrogena, I prefer to bring it all the way down to my neck because you should be moisturizing all the way down to your neck. That is a very important spot. Do not miss it because you don't want to be one of those people with a dry as fuck neck out here. That is not attractive. So after that, that's going to be it for the Neutrogena water gel. I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Balancing Moisturizer. You can also get this from Target. This is one of my holy grail moisturizers. Ever since I started using it, I have not strewn away, straight away, strewn away. Whatever the word is, I have not left it. And I go in with a pretty generous amount, if I'm being honest. This is about the amount I go with. And then I start rubbing that in. And this one, I wouldn't say I bring it all the way down to my neck, but I do bring it under my jaw and like under my chin. So slightly to my neck area, but it's not getting the same amount that it did with the Neutrogena one, if that makes any sense. And I'm just gonna, I think I set this in my night routine as well, so go ahead and click up there if you wanna go see it. I'm pretty sure I did say in that video, I prefer to like kind of massage, kind of massage the moisturizers into my skin, just cause I feel like if you're too like rough with it, your pores don't pick it up as well. But when you go and like take your time and you really massage everything in, your pores are more likely to open up. This morning I slept in until like damn near one o'clock. I've done that twice this month. Both times I was like, this is so weird because when I was depressed, like depressed, depressed, I would sleep in until like one, two o'clock every single day. And I don't know how the fuck I was living like that because I feel like now when I do that, even if I'm stuck like I am like today, I can't go anywhere, I can't do anything. And that's why I let myself sleep in. And even still, I woke up and I was like, I feel like I got absolutely nothing done today. Like, I feel like I was so unproductive. I just lost half of my day. Like, the sun is going to go down before I'm even tired. Like, the da da And just a whole bunch of bullshit. And I'm like, the fact that I was living like that every single day... Yeah, no. That shit was not okay. That whoever, like, was letting me do that, that was not okay. And it's, I'm so happy we figured it out. Alyssa, good job on your mental health journey, baby, because that shit was not okay. Next, I'm going in with the Deep Moisture Night Cream from Selected. I ran out of their moisturizer, and I don't remember what video it was, but I did put the price tag on these. These are so expensive, so of course I haven't been able to just go pick up a new moisturizer because I don't got money like that. So I've been using the night cream as my moisturizer instead and I got a different night cream, night cream, which is actually kind of thicker and it's really effective. Effective. It's by CeraVe. I'll show it to you guys later. But yeah, I've been using that instead and it works really well too. So especially for the budget, <laughs> it fits the budget. I can pick it up multiple times. It won't be a one-time purchase. I haven't seen my little brother in like four days i miss that kid it's his finals week and i can't even ask him how he's doing sucks that's what i get it's your own fault bitch it's your own damn fault so after that's on my morning routine is honestly a million times quicker than my night routine my night routine is usually lengthy especially on days where I don't work because when I come home from work, I just stick to the basics of my night routine because I'm tired as fuck. But days where I don't have work, I'd be doing like face masks before I go to sleep, uh, multiple different like moisturizers, creams, serums. It's very lengthy. We'll get to that tonight. But today we're just focusing on the basics. So next I go in with the Good Molecules Hydraulic Acid Serum. Normally I realized I don't like to use this in the winter time unless it's like raining or something because it's way too like windy and dry outside versus summer. It's like hot and it's wet and sticky and nasty and yeah. And hydraulic hydro 
Hyaluronic acid is like one of those things that draws moisture from your environment from like outside and stuff And so in the winter time, it's not there's like no moisture in the air unless it's like raining or something So I use it more toward the summer or I'll use it at night instead and then just a little bit of that there little trail here little trail there and then same thing just gently rub this in. You know what really sucks about having COVID though? I haven't even been able to pet my dogs. One of my dogs, we don't get along, but like it's to the point where I even miss her. I even miss the one I don't get along with and that doesn't like me because that's how much like I, I want to pet a puppy. Especially in the one I do get along with. He's so cute. I'll insert into pet. <laughs> Can't speak. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see how adorable he is. But he is literally like the most precious thing. He's afraid of everything. He's such a chicken shit. But I love him and he's precious. And I can't even talk to him. I can't even say hi because if I go say hi gonna be like why aren't you coming to actually say hi to me and like pet me and i'm gonna feel terrible and there's nothing i can do about it and he doesn't understand after that for my morning skincare routine that is literally it i put the hyaluronic serum on most of the time i'll gel back my eyebrows and do my eyebrows i'm not fucking going anywhere so i'm not gonna do that shit so we're just gonna brush the brows and that is it for the morning actually that is not it because looking at my skin right now i need a pimple patch i use these ones my friend Sarah put me onto them. They are the best pimple patches you could possibly get. The Mighty Patch ones. You should be sued. You should be sued for stealing money from so many people because you make your shit look cool on social media when you know good and damn well your shit doesn't work. That's how I feel about Mighty Patch, okay? Starface was actually pretty good though, now that I think about it. They had sent me some a while back and i used them for like an entire summer and everyone thought they were like so cute and everything and they definitely are like i'm gonna start getting them again for the summer are you kidding me <sighs> i just stood up by the window and that breeze felt so nice my bathroom for some reason always gets a million times hotter than the entire rest of the house because the vent in here doesn't work even when we do have the air on like it wouldn't matter even if the vent did work it just gets so fucking hot in here it's sometimes unbearable to even take a shower in here because i'll be in the shower taking an ice cold showers because i don't use hot water and i'm sweating in the shower like if you don't get the picture that's how badly it gets hot in here. Anyways, that is the end of my morning skincare routine. Couple pimple patches if I need them, but moisturizer, moisturizer, serum, and we're done. That's quick, easy, fresh face for the morning and go into our day if we were going into our day. And with that being said, I will see you guys for our nighttime routine. I have showered. It is actually the next day. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was supposed to film this in one day. It did not end up happening because I did not feel good last night. So right now I'm just taking off my pimple patches, which I've had on pretty much majority of the day. And like I said, it's a new day. So I put these ones on freshly this morning. I'm going to wet my face and I'm going to wash it. I said it in my morning routine and my night routine. Click right up here to go watch my morning routine if you haven't seen it yet. But I don't wash my face in the morning, only at night. I said it like 10 times in that video. This is the facial cleanser. I use it's a CeraVe hy hydrating foam to cream facial cleanser it honestly works honestly really fair priced I'll put the product with the product list and the amount all of that in the description so that will still be down there but it's one of my favorite products I've used I honestly would like filter through a lot of different cleansing products and didn't have one that I would like stick to that I really like this one has stuck with me for the last eight months probably a little longer maybe we were like coming up to a year so I highly recommend it if you do have dry skin like me especially because even when I use it to take my makeup off it does not dry my skin out if anything it helps put some moisture back into my skin so I'm gonna wash my face real quick I'll be back okay so I just finished washing my face personally it's a small difference but it's a difference I have noticed if you pat your face dry and you don't just go and dry your face because it's a little bit too aggressive on the skin and you don't really want to irritate your skin before you even start helping it. I even know a lot of people, like skincare influencers, 
who prefer to let their face air dry. I just don't have the patience for it. I haven't done it enough times to see if it really makes a difference, but I know that a lot of people do prefer that technique. I know with like body lotion, if you put it on right when you're out the shower, when your body's still a little bit moist, it helps the lotion pick up the moisture better. Probably the same effect. My nighttime skincare routine, I've been waiting to do this for a minute simply because it has changed very slightly. When I do my nighttime routine and I don't have, like I'm not coming home from work and doing it or I'm not going anywhere, and I just have a bunch of time to stay home and do whatever. I normally do a face mask just because I say this a lot. It's important for me to keep up with my hair, my skin, my looks, all of that stuff. It's very important because of the job I have. And so I'll normally do a face mask. Different ones. I'd say on the upside, three to four. On the low side, two to three times a week, just because I one, I enjoy it. I actually do like just like taking care of myself and pampering myself and stuff like that. I enjoy it, but also I kind of have to. So <laughs> I'm going to apply this all over my face, mostly just in my problem areas. In this one, it has witch hazel, which I know can be drying, hemp seed oil and aloe vera we're helping protect the skin barrier we're cleansing and we're hydrating these k bella face masks honestly these do the fucking trick for me y'all like i swear by these things because it's in a little tiny package like this it's a terrible way to show you like this <laughs> they work i did a strawberry exfoliating mask and it was a peel off mask the other night monday night i think today's wednesday yeah, it was Monday night, and I was in shock. Like, normally I don't go for the peel-off mask because those are the ones where I feel like they don't do anything for me. Oh, shit, that was a lot. That was a lot. I did not need that much. Holy shit, that was a lot. Wait. <laughs> Chill out. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for about 15 minutes. Like I was saying, I do a face mask pretty frequently just because, I one, I enjoy it. And two, it's a huge help to my skin. I highly recommend the K Bella face mask. I'll link this one and the strawberry peel one that I used a couple nights ago down below just because that peel one was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. And this one, I'm not sure how it's gonna come out. I'll see you guys in a little bit when we're taking it off. So once my face is completely pat dry, I'm going to take my Neutrogena water gel, the same moisturizer that I use in the mornings. But I'm also going to pair it with the CeraVe PM lightweight moisturizer. I do four to five. Oh. Empty. I do four to five pumps of the CeraVe lightweight moisturizer and then I do like half a finger spool or full, whatever it's fucking called, that much to go with it. And I rub it together in my hands and I just apply it like that. And I bring this like all the way down to my chin and neck area, like specifically right here. And I go in with a different moisturizer to go like all the way down my neck. But for these ones, they're not that heavy duty, so I just take it like right to where my jaw kind of ends. So after those two, I used to go with the Shea Moisture Balancing Moisturizer on top of this, and then I would go with another more like heavyweight moisturizer. I stopped using the balancing one because my skin honestly started getting better and it didn't really need two heavy duty moisturizers at night because the CeraVe moisturizing cream honestly this is the one that I say is like practically a dupe not for the um selected night cream but for the selected moisturizer like the daily moisturizer this is such an amazing dupe for that and it's uh, way way better price tag I think we can all agree so I would definitely recommend this if you have a lot of dry skin and just like problems getting a deep moisture cream dude CeraVe really knew what they were doing with this formula it is absolutely perfect and I just keep going in with as needed as you saw it's a big jug so you just put however much you think you need and you can always add more and this is the one where I like to like bring it all the way down to my like whole neck I honestly think one of the best things Apple ever did with Siri was let you ask her to read your messages and respond to your messages for you because if you don't know like people don't understand the beef 
me and my Siri have because my Siri has a mind of its own and it wasn't until fucking Grace, my roommate, it wasn't until she was there and she saw like my Siri in fucking action. My Siri is weird, bro. Like she literally be talking back to me. She be like saying disrespectful shit to me. Like we get into actual fights and like this bitch will put me on a route somewhere that's the complete opposite direction of the way I'm supposed to be going in but the address like was never changed or it'll happen in the middle of my trip where I'll be on the freeway and all of a sudden it wants me to be on the freeway going the opposite direction so I switch around and then when I switch around she wants me to go back the regular direction like she literally be fucking with me and she has a mind of her own and she like I'll ask her a question and she'll basically be like why are you asking that? How the fuck can you even ask me why I'm asking that? Like, what the fuck? After that one, the last and final thing I do for my night routine, that's actually not true because I do put pimple patches on after I'm done with my night routine. I go in with the Shea Moisture Brighter Days Ahead Serum. This one is with, with papaya and vitamin C. Kind of like a toning serum because it's supposed to help give you a more even and brighter like complexion and help with discoloration and i absolutely love this serum guys like the fucking hydration oh my god my camera is dying the fucking hydration this serum gives you is absolutely insane like i'm absolutely obsessed with it so i'm going to go ahead and finish applying this serum everywhere and then i'm going to charge my camera so i can come back and do the outro with you guys and do the pimple patches and just like the little stuff i'm just going to try and put the pimple patches on before this shit dies i'm only putting on two or i'll just do the outro oh my dumb ass I just fucked up a whole pimple patch. So I'm going to put one here, here, and right here because those are like my protruding pimples that I have going on right now. And other than that, my nighttime skincare routine is all wrapped up and finished. Realistically, this is what I try to do every single night. Cleanse, face mask, moisturizer, serum, pimple patches, done. With all that being said, I hope we enjoyed today's morning and night routine skincare. That's what I do every single morning. This is what I do every single night. And if you guys want to try out any of the products for yourself, like I've been saying, it'll all be in the description down below. So anything that you're interested in trying out, seeing how it works for you, especially if you have dry skin like me, I highly recommend going down there and let me know what you guys think. DM me, whatever you want to do, comment down below. But let me know how it worked for you. If it did work for you, I would love to like know your guys' side of it. <sighs> I ran out of breath. But yeah, especially if you do have a similar skin type to me, because who knows, maybe we can talk about what works and what doesn't with each other. That would be helpful, I'm sure, to pretty much any of us. But with all that being said, I really hope we did enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any more content from me, all my recent videos will be in the description down below, as well as my TikTok, Instagram, and my Twitter. So don't be afraid to go check any of those out. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time.